loaf of bread. Do we have any of these pictures? There's a, there's a, uh, there's a uh, Deutsch mark, and I'll, uh, I'll explain that in just a second. That's what their money looked like. Ours looks like a greenback. Now let me show you, please. Let me show you this chart. We had a chart made. There's our wheelbarrow full of. That was for a loaf of bread. <laughs> Um, here comes the chart. If you watch the chart, this is this is 1929. There was a stock market crash. This is how much money is in circulation. See the flat line, 1941, yep. 1965, yep. Vietnam. Then yep. 2000, Y2K. Then a little yep. spike. And then 2001. That was 9/11. There's 2008. Yep. This is October. Yep. Look at this. <laughs> this is how wow. much money has been flooded in. This is exactly Fine what happened. I have with read. Story after story, well, nobody really saying, knows what the effect of this will be. Arthur, yes, we do. I mean, the, Don't our we? old friend, who's yes, our old friend who passed away, Milton Friedman, says that inflation is everywhere and at all times a monetary phenomenon. And what the Fed is doing with the monetary base, Glenn, is just out of sight. It's never been done before to this extent, but by by a factor of ten. I mean, this is the most outrageous printing press in the last four or five months that has ever happened. It's going to be followed in a year or two or three from now with serious inflation unless something is done okay. right away. So, and I don't see it and being you know done. What's scary, you, know, you know, Arthur, what's scary about that, going back to a point that Glenn made earlier, remember, Glenn, you were talking about the interest on the debt, which is $300 billion in this one bill alone. But if Arthur's right, and I think he is, that inflation goes up, then interest rates have to go up. And guess who is the biggest borrower right. in the world? And here's Uncle the, Sam and this is exactly, our interest expenses are going to go through the roof. I hate to be a, you know, a little a historian nerd, but that's exactly why it happened the way it happened in Weimar. That's because that's Germany, precise. they had the debt, they couldn't pay it. And so what did they do? They took their money like this. Uh, one dollar bill and just marked it as what where is the camera as they marked it as one thousand then when that wasn't enough a one dollar became a ten thousand then it became a hundred thousand then it became a million dollars your money will be worthless if we don't stop the spending and the printing but